Hello, I am Guff. And I'm Maggie. And today we're going to be talking about a iceberg, uh, a, a Ben Shapiro iceberg for some reason. For those of you that might not know what an iceberg is, basically it's just sort of a compilation of knowledge and trivia and things about, in this case, Ben Shapiro. And you start at the top, and the further down you go, the more obscure and generally just fucking cursed things get. Let's just see where this goes. Level one, the sky. Let's say, hypothetically, for the sake of argument. So... This, if you know who Ben Shapiro is, you must have heard this phrase, but you know it has to be in here. This is a classic phrase. It's basically his bread and butter whenever he's doing his quote-unquote debating with, you know, college students or something when he's, you know, laying the smack down on them or whatever. And he'll just say, let's say hypothetically, and come up with some kind of fucking stupid hypothetical scenario in which he can sort of contort his worldview into and quote-unquote win an argument. Pretty much it. Oh, probably to expand on that, the the phrase kind of got heavily memed on, and if you see a Ben Shapiro meme, it probably says something like, let's say hypothetically, for, for the sake of argument, something like that. The Ben Shapiro Show. So, the Ben Shapiro Show is a daily, I repeat, daily podcast and radio show that this dick does it's produced by the daily wire which is just some news outlet i think and it's hosted by ben shapiro each episode is about an hour to two hours long how ridiculous is that who wants to listen to that guy for that long at the time of writing this the ben shapiro show is uh at 1183 episodes why who's listening to this guy All he does is talk about politics and then what he deems as news. Like, I tried listening to one of these episodes and I really did. I promise you I did try. But Christ, his voice is so shrill and annoying and piercing. I'm like, fuck, I just did a snippet of him and I was like, nah. Facts don't care about your feelings. This is a classic of Ben Shapiro. It's basically something I believe he said on Twitter once, and I think it's still his pinned tweet to this day, like years, years, years later. And I I guess it's his way of saying, like, I don't care if you're a snowflake or you're offended about what I'm saying because I'm using facts and logic and they don't regard your feelings. So if you get hurt, that's your problem because I'm just spitting facts. And it's like, yeah, Ben, Facts don't care about people's feelings. Of course they don't. It's it's a very objective thing, a fact. But the problem is, you don't speak in facts. You, you just you simply don't. And that 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 in itself is a fact, surely. Again, also this is pretty heavily memed on as well. So you know, go find those out if you want to. I would probably recommend you don't. But you know, you're an adult probably if you're not probably stop watching this video maybe because it gets much worse than this level two tip of the iceberg ben shapiro's wife's dry pussy ben shapiro's wife is a doctor right she's a physicist apparently quite a good one as well by the sounds of it anyway so ben shapiro obviously had a problem with with you know, the Cardi B and Megan the Stallions um, WAP song. So obviously he had a problem with it. It was about free speech and about like, you know, loving your body and all that stuff. It was about sex and he obviously doesn't get any look at him. So (laughs) Ben put up a tweet. I'm just going to start calling him Ben saying basically he had a problem with the WAP song and he went, he kind of did that annoying like nerd thing where he's like, Actually, my wife says if anyone gets this wet, it's a medical issue. Like, can you imagine how how that conversation went? I'm going to play both parts here. You ready? Babe, 
You know that new song, WAP? Yeah? Um, how come you ever, you never get a WAP? Um, oh, that, it's actually a medical issue. Oh, that, that explains a lot, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's a medical issue. Trust me, I'm a, phys- I'm, I'm a doctor. You are a doctor, yes. That's very true, wife. That's how that conversation went. Yeah, no. His wife has, has never finished. To the... <laughs> Fuck. And by the sounds of that tweet, she never started. I am sorry, Benjamin. Ben Shapiro destroys X formula. Okay, so this is in reference to how Ben tends to structure the titles of his like YouTube videos and stuff like that where he's where he's debating again quote unquote debating with other people and it'll be stuff like Ben Shapiro destroys Piers Morgan on gun control and then the video will just be like Ben going and like talking like 700 fucking miles an hour and like oh like I, I'm not gonna lie I didn't watch the video because why the fuck would I want to watch Ben Shapiro and Piers Morgan go off against each other of all fucking people that's like I don't even know that's like two sides of the same fucking awful coin I do I would literally rather have the end of my dick sealed shut with a fucking lighter than watch that Jesus Christ the amount of anyway come on. <laughs> So Ben obviously uses different variations of this. It's not always destroys. Sometimes it's something like Ben Shapiro smacks down Black Lives Matter. And yes, that is genuinely a title. I didn't just make that up because it sounds like something he would say. That's up on his YouTube today. Ben Shapiro trying to brag about quote unquote smacking down Black Lives Matter. I'm guessing he's obviously talking about him smacking down the movement and not saying that black lives don't matter. I imagine he's got some stupid fucking hot take about how, you know, we don't need the black lives matter movement because, you know, he's fucking racist. Again, on his YouTube channel if you want to watch it. Don't do that, but it's there if you do for some reason. Ben Shapiro's Joker Laugh. No one laughs like this. No one ever in the history of this world. No one has laughed like this apart from the fictional character, the Joker. It is insane his eyes have no feeling to him they're just cold and dark and oh his body contorts no it's wrong and i'm not having anything to do with it level three under the surface ben shapiro sells houses to aquaman Okay, so this is a clear reference to the popularly quoted clip from the legendary YouTuber H-Bomber Guy. And in this video, H-Bomb is talking about climate change. So it's not really about Ben Shapiro in general, but he obviously gets a mention. So in the video, H-Bomb, well, here's the clip. Here he is dipping his webbed flippers into the pool of climate change with his signature Shapiro intellect. So let's say, let's say for the sake of argument, that all of the water levels around the world rise by, by, let's say five feet over the next hundred years, say 10 feet by the next hundred years, and it puts all the low-lying areas on the coast underwater, right? Which, let's say all of that happens. You think that people aren't going to just sell their homes and move? I mean, so yeah, just a classic bit of Ben Shapiro fucking stupidity and just 
somebody taking advantage of his stupidity to for a funny moment like you know, great stuff I, I love to see it any anything that embarrasses ben shapiro which it does brilliant I, i'm all about it nicely done h-bomb and cool little easter egg h-bomb still has that hole in his wall in his future videos so always a little bit of a reminder of how fucking dumb ben shapiro is ben shapiro against trans so the other ones were quite funny this one's just fucked up so ben shapiro you know he is he's some right wing prick um and he released a statement say and i quote by the way this is word for word transgender people are unfortunately suffering from a significant mental illness that is deeply harmful and it's not a solution to pretend that transgender people are the sex that they think they are in the head fuck you man honestly some of his arguments are just absolutely laughable as well you get arguments such as like trans people are just imagining their condition they're just boys in girls' clothing. No. Another argument he had was mental illness is inherent to transgenders, and that's why they commit suicide so much. Yeah, Ben, I'm pretty sure there's a high rate of suicide in transgender communities because of the hate and discrimination they get thrown at them. But, like, yeah, you, you go off, I guess, mate. Ben Shapiro's music theorist father. So this is a pretty big one in the music theory scene. I'm not sure how far it got outside of that. But basically, there's this really cute clip of Ben where he's debunking the fact that rap and hip hop isn't real music. And he introduces it by talking. <laughs> Just watch the fucking clip. <laughs> so the, the musical case against rap is that in, in my view and the view of my music theorist father who who went to music school god i fucking love it. the way he's just like his fucking hands and he's just shaking his little fucking head like my music theorist father who who went to music school like he was trying to think of what school he went to and he just either couldn't remember or realized that it didn't sound that good so he just says music school Fucking idiot, man. He, I'm not going to play the rest of that clip because I'll just do it quicker for you. To summarize, he basically says that music has to have three elements. Harmony, so chords. Melody, so like the vocals or the top line. And the rhythm, you know, the specific durations of each note. And uh, it's a lot to unpack here. And you could debunk this in like a million different ways. But one way I think I'd like to do it is... So for me, something called timbre is a very, very fucking important part of music. And if you don't know what timbre is, basically it's just the difference in sound or tone color in different instruments. Think of a middle C played on a piano versus it being played on a bass guitar versus it being played on an acoustic guitar versus it being played on an electric guitar versus it being played on a Telecaster or a Stratocaster. You see what I'm saying? All of these different things have completely different sounds right and that's a huge part of music how that sound actually is and ben shapiro's argument is implying that timbre yeah. doesn't matter or doesn't exist and i fucking love this because this basically just implies that every like piece of music like in terms of the tone of every instrument just sounds the same to ben shapiro like he's just got all these eight bit little beeps and bloops going off in his head like the fucking soundtrack to pokemon red and blue you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head fucking stupid fucking idiot level four deep waters what does ben shapiro even do you know what i mean a quick Google search into Ben Shapiro will tell you he's the following. A lawyer, a columnist, an author, a book editor, a radio personality, a media consultant, talk show host, podcaster, and a professional dick. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, it's fine. Basically, he started off as a columnist when he was 17, just wrote a couple of fucking articles expressing his shitty opinion. 
And then he wrote a couple of books sharing his shitty opinion. But for some reason, the right-wing people of the world just, they just eat it up. They just fucking love it. They fucking love it. And then they just enabled this dickhead's career to snowball into the mess that it is today. And this guy thinks it's okay to walk around calling out transgender gay people, all this sort of stuff. And, you know, it's all because they enabled this shitty little 20-year-old. Ben Shapiro of Ape Mike Voice. So, oh, let's say, for the sake of argument, you went on the website Vocodes. This website would then, hypothetically, allow you to select a person or character and type something for them to read out for you. This website, of course, has an option for me, the legendary Ben Shapiro. Now you can destroy anybody you like with facts and logic. Donald Trump, seventh dissonance. There was a clip of Ben Shapiro where he was talking about how Donald Trump was said he was full of joy or hope after leaving the Oval Office. But Ben says, oh, the way Donald says this, it sounds like a seventh which according to Ben in music theory is dissonant or is called the devil in music. I think what he means by that is a tritone, which is this. So it's, it's not what he's talking about whatsoever. And it just goes to show he has no fucking idea what he's talking about because he doesn't know music. This was kind of like pretty eye opening to me in terms of Ben Shapiro. Cause right. Like, I know we like to take the piss out of him and he's fucking dumb, but he he must be like at least one of those smart guy kind of dumb. You know what I mean? Where like the smart, but they're dumb because, you know, he's a he's a lawyer. You know, he's wrote books. He, he's like famous. You know, people listen to him. He must be intelligent in some way, but like. This clearly tells me that he talks about things in a way where he pretends to know. And if you didn't know about music, you would be like, oh, he's talking about that super confidently. I'm going to take his word for it because, you know, nobody would be that confident about something if they didn't know about it. But you'd be wrong. People are that confident about stuff that they don't know about. He's one of them. And it just made me think, how many other the things that he talks about, like, is just complete bullshit overconfidence talking drivel like this i couldn't find the original clip for this because to be honest i looked for it and i was like okay it looks like he's doing his show but then there was a thousand episodes of his show so i was like okay great okay maybe like i can judge it on what he's wearing he's wearing a blue shirt okay he literally only ever wears a blue shirt he's literally got a dark blue one and a light blue one what the fuck is going on does he have to do that because he's fucking conservative or something i don't fucking know but it's fucking dumb as fuck, and I wasn't about to sift through a thousand episodes of his fucking hour-long show to find the clip. But, I mean, yeah, I could probably go into that a bit more, but I'm going to leave it there. That, that's enough Ben Shapiro music theory for today. Level 5, bottom of the iceberg. Ben Shapiro's cousin is Matilda. Mara Wilson, better known as the girl who played Matilda, is Ben Shapiro's cousin. Okay, they don't talk. Um, and actually, in recent interviews, she's come out and said that she actually disavowed her cousin for his political views, and they don't talk to each other anymore, which is fair, you know, on counts of him being a colossal dick. On a side note, though, she is actually bisexual, so it actually makes sense that she uh, doesn't talk to him because he probably thinks she has a mental illness. The Economist described him as polished. So honestly, this is pretty fucking niche. But there is, there's an online news outlet, I guess, called The Economist. So they did this sort of interview and piece on Ben Shapiro. And they pretty much opened it by saying, everything about Ben Shapiro is polished. His answers are smooth. His appearance is... I'm better than you. My shape up better. My car faster. My drip better. Like, fucking excuse me. What? Are you okay, sir? Is that can somebody check on the guy that wrote this because they are not having a good time? Clearly, his answers are fucking smooth. Are you for real? This is the fucking man whose mouth goes at like twenty thousand fucking miles an hour, and his brains just—you can hear the fucking cogs turning and the rust chipping off of him as his mouth's trying to fucking just slow down so his brain can catch up. 
But it never does. It can't. And the bullshit just comes out so fucking fast. It's unbelievable. But this apparently is it's smooth. His answers are smooth. Let's say hypothetically for the state. How is that smooth? No way, I'm not having it. It's like a fucking tape cassette that's been sped up and the machine just doesn't like how fast you're speeding it up and there's smoke fucking coming out of it. It's on fire, you have to piss on it and it just sets on more fire. Fucking hell. Oh god, he is just the guy that got bullied at school for being a nerd and I don't like to bring that up because I don't condone it but are you fucking serious are you telling me if you saw Ben Shapiro in school and you saw him getting bullied you'd really be fucking surprised you would just see him being thrown into a bush or having his head dunked into a toilet and you'd you wouldn't wonder oh god why are they doing that you'd wonder is that the third or the fourth time today let's shoot for 40 oh god his appearance is smooth seriously uh I mean I could talk about this one or Here's a little screenshot. Look at Ben. He's wearing jeans and a suit jacket and a shirt. All slightly different shades of blue because apparently he has to fucking wear blue and only blue. God's sake and his fucking little action man Lego motherfucker haircut. Man will never have a fucking fade. Oh! Uh, but yeah, my point is the this Economist piece was actually when you sort of read it, it sort of tries to frame itself like it's kind of against Ben Shapiro. They do nothing but fucking jack him off the entire fucking time. Oh yeah, his appearance is smooth. Yeah, his fucking answers are smooth. You can just scroll down the page and see that that's bullshit. Yeah, so the article flirts with the idea of challenging Shapiro on his fucking idiotic and just fucking hateful views, but they just simply cook out at every fucking opportunity. Ben got accused of being Islamophobic for literally saying, Arabs like to bomb crap and live in open sewage. Yes, that is a fucking direct quote from the man himself. And then they were like, oh yeah, Ben's sort of redacted statement. I was like, what do you mean sort of redacted? Did he say, yes, that was racist. I apologize, I shouldn't have said that. I don't stand by that. Did he say that? Oh yeah, and one last thing. So they completely simp move when they wrote this article because the guy that made it put in an editor's note that read this. This article has been changed. A previous version mistakenly described Mr. Shapiro as an alt-right sage and a pop idol of the alt-right. In fact, he has been strongly critical of the alt-right movement. We apologize. Wow, wow, fucking baby fucking Shapiro. Got fucking mislabeled as alt-right when he's not alt-right. He's just fucking racist and definitely right-wing, but he's not alt-right. Yeah, pretty fucking ironic that Ben's kicking off about being mislabeled when his whole fucking shtick is fucking mislabeling people. But yeah, I guess spit the dummy out, you cringe baby.
Abigail Shapiro horny posting. Abigail Shapiro. She has them assets, them melons, bazonkazonks, mil... <laughs> Fuck. Mommy milkers, that bosom, those bloody baps, titties, jugs, breasts, knockers, boobies, hooters, big bloody jubblies, globes, tartars. What I'm trying to say, she has a nice... What I'm trying to say is she has a nice couple of fucking orbs on her. Fuck. <laughs> you might be thinking, must be hard being the world's biggest dick sister, but turns out she's a bit of a dick too. She'll stand by your shitty opinions and has a few of her own shitty opinions. She'll post shit about girls needing to dress more modestly, and then calls out people like Taylor Swift for telling girls what they should do with their bodies. Bitch, you're doing the same thing. Basically, both of them are clapped cunts. Just one of them has some fucking clappers on their chest. <laughs> Is an example of the kind of inappropriate horny posting that happened when people found out that Abigail Shapiro was... Ben Shapiro's sister, so uh, yeah, please don't cancel us. Please, please, we're not actually misogynist. Level six, the abyss. David Shapiro is Hank Berrien. So, David Shapiro is um, no Ben Shapiro's father, as you could probably surmise. And Hank Berrien is an online journalist for the Daily Wire, which is a news outlet owned or at least created by Ben Shapiro himself. And in 2018, it came to light that there was a possibility that Hank Berrien was none other than the father of the fucking cringe meister general himself. Ben Shapiro, obviously. The crux of this theory is that Hank Berrien kind of just popped up out of nowhere, publishing like numerous articles where he was defending Ben Shapiro. He used those cringe Ben Shapiro-esque like title formulas like Ben Shapiro destroys John Oliver. And again, I didn't read it. He probably didn't destroy John Oliver. But yeah, basically, whoa, whoa, whoa. I need to go. What, what are you, what the fuck are you doing? And why the fuck are you doing that? They wouldn't have noticed. I'm not. I, I used an ad blocker. I turn it off. I do. Look, editor guy, just stay in your fucking lane, okay? What, what that, that, that's not really, that doesn't, really... wait, no, 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 don't do that, you don't have to do it, don't you fucking, don't... I don't, I don't, I don't want it. You happy now? Can we get back to the video? <clears throat> Basically, David Shapiro had been known to write under pseudonyms before to protect his own privacy. And the theory is that Hank Berrien would post things either just bigging up Ben or like defending him after some controversy and stuff like that. There was a Twitter user, Jay McCarthy's Ghost, and he was said to be like the, the guy that sort of came up with this theory in the first place. And this user's been pretty inactive recently on Twitter. Looking through his stuff, it kind of seemed like he had some kind of an obsession with Ben Shapiro because he did nothing but post about him. But, I mean, we're making a fucking iceberg about him. So, I mean, what are we going to say? The New York University local wrote an article on this conspiracy theory. And it's an all right read. And it does suggest that Hank could likely be David Shapiro. But it's still just a theory. And to be fair... Looking at Hank's Twitter profile, it seems pretty clear at this point that he can't be David Shapiro because he just he just bashes Ben Shapiro now on Twitter. I don't know if he's just had a change of heart or if Ben Shapiro did something to offend Hank, but he just he's just smashing him all the time now on Twitter. Yeah, I can pretty safely say that this theory is not true. Ben Shapiro steals his sister's underwear. So, 
there was a tweet going around that apparently Ben Shapiro wrote. This tweet was fake. It was it was a whole thing. But God, how I wanted this tweet to be real. For those who don't know about the tweet, the tweet read, The thing with homosexuality and transgenderism is that it simply boils down to exerting control over your impulses. Like, say you have a hot sister, you fantasise over it, maybe steal her underwear a couple of times, but it doesn't go further than that. I will give you one guess who he's on about. (laughs) He's he's obviously on about his big mummy milker sister. How brilliant is that tweet? I don't know who made it up, but they're a mastermind. Ben Shapiro and Sonic the Hedgehog. This is referring to the cursed tie that binds Ben Shapiro and Sonic the Hedgehog. And how they share some sort of twisted relationship. There are various online depictions of Ben and Sonic in various circumstances. From Sonic and Ben driving in a car on the highway Ben behind the wheel deciding to kill both of them in a car crash to things like Ben reacting to Sonic and Mario making love while smiling maniacally with feigning innocence. Most infamously however, maybe the deep fake creepypasta, Ben Shapiro plays Sonic Adventure 2 in which he talks about his love for the Sonic franchise and how he loves to collect all of the video games but ends up getting his hands on a cursed copy of Sonic Adventure 2. And I can't go into details here because the story is just way too dark and to be honest I'm pretty freaked out just talking about it. Do not research this please I'm begging you. Hey, Maggie here. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. We uh, hope you liked it. I mean, like it if you did. If you want to see more stuff, comment and let us know because we have no idea what kind of content we're going to go into. We just, as long as it's funny, we'll look into it, honestly. Yeah, so subscribe to keep updated with that. And if you want more content from us right now, we've got um, quite a few episodes of our podcast out where we talk about similar kind of things on Spotify or wherever else you get podcasts and yeah check us out on instagram tiktok we've got stuff on there and other than that i guess we'll see you later